What's up, EDG family? Kevin here. Today we'll be diving back into Final Girl Series 2. I got it set up. I'm ready to go. I just did an unboxing on this game. And yes, I am just that excited to uh, jump back into this with you. It's been, uh, it's been a few months since I put out any Final Girl playthroughs, so uh, we're going to do that. If uh, you haven't seen any Final Girl content, like I said, I've done some playthroughs. They're going to be a little bit more uh, beginner friendly, so you might check those out, but I'm ready to dive into the void with all of you, so let's get to it. All right, so I got this all set up. I got uh, Into the Void set up. I have played uh, I've played the Evil Morph. I played the Evil Morph uh, at Camp Happy Trails. I played the USS Conrad against Hans, and I played them both together one time. So I'm going to go ahead and say I am not um, always the best with the rules with this game. I, I try to be as good as I can about it. My subscribers, I'm going to tell you right now, I am realizing are some Final Girl fanatics. So check the comments. I will try to update the playthrough if I find some stuff and post. Um, and yes, it is just that cold and I am bundled up right now. So if, if you're if you're cold out there right now, it's April for me. And uh, we don't usually get our last snow until about this time. Um, so expect some warm clothes for a while. But I do have some hot... Cameron's Hawaiian coffee to, to keep me warm and I want to talk about what we got set up. So I'm not going to go through all of the rules. I'm just going to talk about what we specifically have going on. So I'm going to talk about the Evo more. If we have an additional evolution card, he will evolve as we play him. He has an ambush deck, which will come into play when he's in the shadows. That is a whole nother mechanic. I'm going to tell you right now, there's actually less terror cards in this deck than a uh, than a normal final girl deck because of that very interesting mechanics i'm trying to think uh we have an additional scan action card specifically for uh for the evo morph and uh we'll be able to be able to scan rooms and try to allow him not to ambush us is kind of what goes on there and then as far as the USS Conrad i'm going to tell you i'm going to geek out a little bit right now i think this may be one of my new favorite locations I really, really like this location. We have key cards that allow us access to uh, different pathways that generally can't be followed. Uh, we have a whole lot of, I'm almost gonna, I almost wanna say the USS Conrad is like, you know, the home alone of, uh, of uh, Final Girl locations. We got a Crusher, we got an Incinerator, we got a Self Destruct, we got an Airlock. I got those swapped, you know. I like to keep these in increasing. Uh, activation orders but each one of them has a different amount of key cards we need to activate those locations we obviously have the super loader from it i about said aliens no, i said aliens okay and uh our event for this is emergency override uh, the incinerator airlock and self-destruct all require one less key card to activate so that is definitely in our favor I also am going to be using Jeanette. I know I really want, I almost used the other one, but I, the playthrough ad with Jeanette just seemed a lot more clean. Um, if you guys want to see me die, there's going to be plenty of opportunities for me to just, I don't know. You never know what's going to happen with this game. I could roll poorly. This could be a five minute playthrough and, uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just do it again and we'll just depend. I don't know. I don't know what we'd do in that situation. I also have, I have a couple of the uh, components from the box of props set up. These are deluxified. Obviously I got like a deluxe marker i got i'm using the standard time i think it works better for the table and we are using the desperation die we got to use it once but if you uh if you get the skull you get the skull game over so i used it early on one game and i was like man that would have been bad if it had just been over right there on a playthrough so i'm gonna try not to do that but other than that i think we're pretty much set up i'm trying to think if there's any major things i'm missing i don't want to spend too much time uh, we do have a keypad we got a couple keypad cards they do not have tokens on them the tokens that these would have are already set up on the map we can collect those as we go i'm pretty sure we just pick those up as we get into the room i'm checking them right now if you start in your movement of space while not passing you spend a time you spend a time to pick them up so pretty easy we don't need to like search to do it uh i don't have the miniatures yet i will be using the miniatures once we get them but uh i have everything laid down so if there's anything you see visually that you know maybe will look better on a different playthrough let me know 
I got the mats. They're set up not like they say. Let me know. But we're going to go. We're going to do this. We have Jeanette. We have some free action cards, and we are going to uh, we're going to jump right into this. So uh, I generally like to get some focus going. So I think we're going to do that. We only got two dice right now, so we'll grab these. Just trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. But let's do this. Let's get some focus going on. A uh, decent start. We, we are going to go ahead and spend uh, the short rest and the weak attack. I'm not really too concerned about this. If you didn't notice, the little uh, hatchling's got a 10 hit and only moves once or off the bat. So if you're ever in a situation right at the beginning where you can like go save a bunch of them around him, his bloodlust is not going to go up until he actually takes his first victim. But we're going to convert that to another success. And I like that. We're going to move up one here and we're going to get some time. Hopefully we can get at least a little bit more focus and get really close. I'm trying to think, it might be worth it to just go ahead and wait till that next turn. Grab the grab the improvise. One, two, three. Grab a distract. We'll be able to walk. You know what? I think this I think I may call it on this turn right now. I remember what I did last time. Pretty sure I've seen a setup similar. I can't remember how the Conrad's been set up both times, but yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna stop right here. And we're gonna chill. I'm gonna grab an improvise that's gonna cost us one, two, and three. We're gonna grab a distraction, which is gonna give us one, two, and three. And I think we do a couple things here. Grab a, you know what? Let's just take both close calls right off the bat. And that'll work. That will work. That will be our uh, our next set of cards. So let's see what he's gonna do. So first of all, right off the bat, he is gonna move one spot in here. He will attack with a 10 damage. So uh, I don't know who this is supposed to be. Johnny, whatnot, is gone. Where's my uh, victim? Uh, victim, dead victims, okay. He's gone. And uh, what's gonna happen right now, and this is like the only thing I feel like I, I kinda missed on a couple of these playthroughs. He's going to increase this, which is going to make him evolve. So he's going to evolve. We're going to slide this down. And upon evolving, he is going to go into the shadows, which means he is actually going to come off the board. We're going to put him on the terror deck to remind us we're not going to draw a terror card on the next turn. We are actually going to start drawing from this ambush deck. So he almost just kind of like disappears and then we'll just show up on these maps doing causing havoc, which is where the scan cards come into play. But that is it. That is his turn, I believe. Um, now it increases normally, so it'll just increase with cards. And uh, yeah, we will, we'll see what happens from here. But we are up. We'll reset my time back to six. Let's see what we're going to do. I think we uh, go get that improvised. We start moving. Start moving. I'm looking at these items. Obviously, flamethrower, super good. We need to get to that mess hall. It's a one, two. We could probably get there. Probably get there pretty quick. We don't know where he's gonna go. I would obviously like to try to get some uh, some of these victims off here, get hers done, but it just seems kind of messy right now. So let's not do that. We could go into the bridge, waste of time, activate this, go around here, but I really want to get that flamethrower. Early game flamethrower, I think that would be good. And we got we to roll good, too. We didn't actually... No, we didn't. I'm thinking here. We still have to do some stuff. But I think this is the way to do it. We'll see what happens. I would have liked my uh, horror to uh, be a little higher at this point. But we could... <laughs> we could use the desperation die and make sure we get this improvised. And I don't know. I might have to grab the rule book for that if I can just add it if I need it. But that is a... That's not a good that's not a good roll. Let's see what we can actually probably get rid of to make this happen. I want to get rid of we could use the close calls as we should, but I generally think when I do that, I only ever fix one. I think this might be the best play. We'll just do this. We're not gonna get there on this turn. That's just that's it's just not gonna happen. And that's okay. But if we can get this improvise out. We can get a distract in. We can get a walk and get just a little closer to that mess hall. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going we're gonna to sacrifice four cards. Don't yell at me. <laughs> but our improvise is out. And then hopefully we can get this distraction in. This is, might be a really bad roll. 
Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That is exactly what we did not want to happen. Bad roll. We may have to play the desperation guy right off the bat. There we go. All right, we added that. It's out of the game. It's going to give me one success. I was desperate, but we need to bring this up. It didn't get my horror back down, which is unfortunate. But since we still have the improvise, let's see if we can at least move. Uh, we can. We can move one spot. Oh, my gosh. Well, this kind of changes the game a little bit. We can get to the mess hall quicker this way, though. We're going to move into here. Grab him. Um, thinking. What do we have coming back to us? We have a focus, a weak attack, a short rest. We need to move. We trashed a walk. If we could get... The focus will be fine. It'll get us up to three dice as long as we don't have any horror uh, effects happen. We have six to spend. We could grab that key card. We should. We're going to grab it. I'm going to spend the time. We're in here. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put it right here. I'm just actually, you know what? I'm going to put it just right on to this. Ooh, actually, um, let's not do this yet because I've seen these things just go away. We don't want that to happen. We want to take uh, Susie into the mess hall, get her to the escape pod, get a flamethrower, maybe get, oh, we'll take the search card. <laughs> take a search card. Take any, oh, no, take any top item. That's, that's even better. Get her there. Just take the top item from the escape pod. I'm out. I'm in. I'm in. All right, so let's go with two. Grab a sprint. So we can move through there. Get her there. What else do we need? I would have liked to have that scan. That was just a really bad, a couple really bad rolls. I might grab this distraction. Focus isn't as bad. I almost, I really regret not uh, grabbing the scan card to burn in the, in the other one, but I'm just seeing it. I'm going to grab a distraction card. We need to get some time back. We'll reset this, see what this ambush is going to happen. Hopefully we get a couple lucky turns. Would be nice. All right. Reset that. Let's see what happens. I don't know if I shuffled this. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know if I shuffled this deck. I think I just kind of set up a bunch of stuff. I obviously set the terror deck up, but I might have just set this out. So at this point, it's on me. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Some of these are not too bad. Some of them are uh, okay. All right, so our ambush youngling. That's, that's what happens. Uh, so that's all that's going to happen. We'll discard this one off to the side. Um, we're just going to increase our bloodlust, which is okay for right now. And it's back to us. But I will tell you, I've, I've seen this thing evolve before I've seen it again. It's it's crazy. And then not draw a tarot, tech, a tarot card for like three, four rounds. It has happened already. So very interesting already. But I think I'm going to play this distraction card. Because I, uh, I'm just going to make a bunch of noise and hope it works out for us. Yes, double success. Okay, that makes up for it. Okay, so we got one, two, one, two. I can't believe I used that desperation die that early on, but it did work out. It did work out. Okay, so the next thing I think we're gonna want to do is I am gonna put. I'm gonna put a. Uh, doesn't cost anything. We're we're gonna get this shaft right here. Opens it up for us, and I'm gonna use the sprint right off the bat because if we need to burn cards, to make this whole whole thing happen, then we'll do it. Ah, uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So we're gonna go down one. But I only needed two. So we're going to go one, two, to the escape bot. We'll rescue her. I'm going to put this here. And we are going to take this flamethrower right now. We got a flamethrower, what, third third turn? It does a lot. It does quite a bit of damage. But you, it, we got to make sure the evil morphs by itself. Otherwise, it will actually spread to victims. Just, you know, <laughs> be a little crazy, you know. Making her own bloodlust go up. But we're going to put both of these on and we'll pull them off as we use them so we got two turns that's six if we could actually get the evo morph out right now we might stand a chance but what we're going to do now is i'm going to focus let's get some of that time back i mean it's either going to be a washer or not nope well we got two cards and we're going to use them both i think it's basically a wash right 
Uh, lose the time. Terry goes up. Just stays where it's at. Okay, so those cards are gone. We're going to get these cards back, and we have seven time. I'm thinking... Start messing with some stuff. Probably gonna need a scan card soon. I want to sprint. That'd be five. This would be five. Couple scans. Yeah, let's grab a improvise. Now that we have three dice, at least for the time being, let's grab a sprint. Moving around the ship crazy. Let's grab a close call. Let's grab a scan. At least, at the very least, we don't use the scan. We can burn it instead of burning a close call, and it's it's there on our next turn. So we're going to do that. I will say, so far, I like... I feel like the mat helps me keep these cards in order. Like, putting these zero-cost cards back every time instead of this just sitting off to the side, it's helpful. I will say that. Let's see what we got. All right, let's see what this is going to happen. Ambush Youngling. All right, so Bloodlust goes up. Uh, horror track, move the Bloodlust marker. Oh, oh, my gosh. Okay, here is what I'm talking about. Move the Bloodlust marker up on the track to the next space with the Evolve. In the special effect column. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And now, this is the thing I think I forgot to do last time. Upon, uh, so it's going to evolve again. So it's going to say, upon evolving, max health increases to 10. So, you know, flamethrower, slightly less effective now. But what is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. That's fun. Then the Evo Morph recovers all. Well, you know what? It was it was okay. And now uh, reveal the dark power and rotate the ambush deck. Okay, so we're going to rotate. So what do we got? When revealed, place the Evo Morph in the space with the most victims without a X. Okay, well, that's an obvious. And kill every victim there. Oh, my gosh. One of the Evo Morph attacks at least one attack. At least once, attack an additional time in each adjacent space. What? Whenever the Evo Morph attacks at least once, attack an additional time. In each adjacent space. I haven't caught that one yet. So obviously we are going to go ahead and pull him off. Right here. Pulling him there. And then, uh, yeah, all four of these are gone. And now we'll be able to draw from the Terror deck on the next turn. That is... That's brutal. All right, so one, two, sheesh, three, four. That is not cool. That is really not cool. Oh, we just got ambushed horribly. We may need a new tactic. I was gonna head that direction, but I, I don't. I don't know if that's what I want to do now. I may uh, have to go. Maybe I can go over here, go back through here, and try to maybe get some more escape people. Get her flipped. I don't know if it's going to help us. I can't remember exactly what her her other side is. I think it had something to do with increasing items, but I'm not really sure. Um, Yeah, that's uh, not good. Okay. Well, we can put one of these back. I might have, uh, might have rolled that desperation die a little too early. All right, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? we got two dice. Improvise, focus. How many focuses? We got both of them? We just got one focus. We're going to need to get that back up, though. I might not. We got some walks. I got a sprint, though. One, two, three. We could get to that storage room. I don't know what we can find in there, but we could get to the storage room. Could play key card down. We may have to. I don't think we can get enough tokens to get the self destruct. I've already used one. And we should have discarded this guy. Should have discarded this guy. Totally fun. Put him off to the side. 
Um, interesting turn. Focus or improvise? We have a lot of car. Let's do it the improvise first. I think that's going to be our best play. Let's do the improvise because we have cards to re-roll. Sheesh. Same situation. We got the scan. We got this. We can get rid of both walks. I think it's the play. Just make it happen. Improvise. Both walks. Gone. Now we just got to make sure we can uh, we can move. So let's do... I think I don't even think it's really going to matter either what, do, what order we do this in. I guess if the first one's bad, then we wouldn't want to move anyways. I guess let's, uh, let's focus. Focusing. Perfect. So that will give us one of these back and two time and let's see if we can at least get to the bridge I wish we could blow the thing up but that'll work too okay so one down and move up to three so we're gonna go one two uh, use a token I don't know if this is a great idea but we can at least are now in here that was a brutal turn that was absolutely a brutal turn okay so we gotta focus a short rest and a weak attack back Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to just we're gonna have to smack him. He hits for four, by the way. And he's moving three. And he's gonna move on this next turn. Where can he get in three though? He can't go through here, can't go through here. He's gonna one, two. I assume he's just gonna go there. Yeah, that's probably where he's gonna go. We can run from him, that's the good thing. Kinda do like maybe some uh guerrilla warfare. I don't know. Oh, we use this guy. We got your him. So we have one left on here. We can get. We're, otherwise, we're gonna have to search those two. So we might get another one there. I'm pretty sure when we find that though, we, we just put the token directly on it. So, all right. So we have seven to spend. I think we're gonna need a moving in though. Seven to spend. We go one, two. We gotta focus. It won't get us there though. I'm just thinking. We need a big turn. We need to get both of them off. It'll give us one way from flipping. This tiebreaker is going to be this way. So he's going to probably go that way if, depending on what the terror deck does and everything. I don't like that. We got to get these. This is, this is messed up. Hmm. I think we have to do that. Improvise, sprint, that's five. Puts us down to two. Can't get it. Well, hold on. Oh, we, we don't have these cards yet. These are part of it. We can't sell these. Can't sell these yet. These are not in our hand technically as of yet. That would have been a good thought, though. Three, three, with the two. Search, though. Improvise. Yeah, let's not move yet. Improvise for three. Focus won't get us there. We do have a bunch. We could get the close call. What do we got? Four left. I don't know. Maybe we don't take the improvise yet. Put that back. Maybe take the distraction. Because that gets us there. And then we could grab a search. And a sprint. And we'll just wing it. That'll work. That'll work. I don't know. It might not work. I can't. I make no guarantees. Make absolutely no guarantees. But we do have those all there. Okay. So what's he going to do next? He is going to move up to three spaces. Can't go through those. He's going to go one. Oh, hold up. One, two, three. That's that's what he's going to do. Um, and then we are going to draw a terror card. Okay, game over, man. Game over. If there are no victims on the board, discard this card and draw the next terror card. Otherwise, raise the horror. Sheesh. We got a focus, right? Yeah, we had a distraction and a focus. This is rough. All right, he is going to move. He's going to move here. And uh, he's going to take one of them out right now. That is, he's not going to have tarot cards very long, so we're not going to have to worry about that. His his uh, 
finale card will get flipped pretty quick the way that this has been going. Yep. Just trying to make sure we're not missing any effects. It doesn't really, I mean, he, he can attack an additional time, but it's not going to do anything right now. Wish I could have got that super loader. That's okay. We got the flamethrower, so, you know, there is a little bit of chance that we can maybe get him in the finale. I mean, we get two flamethrower shots and maybe a retaliate. As long as he doesn't go in the shadows and get all crazy, but we'll see what happens. I'd like to get something else that will help us in this room before rescuing those two, but I'm looking one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Yeah, we need to get we need to get those saved. That search card, oh, I shouldn't have taken the search card. I now regret taking the search card, but we'll see what happens. If we can get the sprint like right now and just get cards out of my hand. One, save both of them, and then go there. We have a walk? No. I just think it's worth it though to go ahead and try to do this. I'm gonna go for the sprint right now. I know, you know, we should be playing distraction cards and whatnot, but I kind of want to keep that distraction card like to the end, maybe get some time back, reset my time. And if we can do that, we'll get back to the room. We'll have two search cards. That is not good. I don't have, I don't, that, that's it. That's, that's not good. So I can move up to one space, take damage, decrease two time and end my turn, which would help me. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. All right, so we are going to move up to one space. We'll rescue them too. I, I'm obviously, I'm going to increase, I'm going to decrease the horror. It's going to cost me two, which is not good. Do I take the search card or do I move a space? We're about to get some lock cards back. I have everything I basically might need to make the next turn like huge. So yeah, let's just do that. I'm going to move one space over to the furnace. How much does it cost to activate the incinerator? Two of those chips. I don't have any. That was a bad roll. But we have four time. We have four time. We can take an improvise, which we are going to need. And we're going to take a close call. I think that's, that's the call. That is the call. Reset our time. Let's see what's about to happen. Well, we know the first thing that's going to happen. He's not going to move. He's just going to take this one out. Uh, it's going to discard the top tear card. We won't even look at it. Um, I don't want to know what I got rid of. He's going to do an additional attack. Does nothing. He won't move because he is already attacked. So we'll draw a tear card. <sighs> he's slippery. The killer can now freely move through the maintenance shafts. Great. And he's got two extra health. Great. Did we take a health? I need to make sure I took a health. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I needed to take one health away. So we're down to six. Can't take too many attacks, but it's fine. He's uh, going to move really quick now, though. One, two, three, four. It's going to be like right next to us. Can't think. Can he get there quicker? Yeah, one, two. <laughs> oh, that's not good. He's going to be right here on the next turn. That's, that's brutal. Okay. First things first. Do we play the do we play the distraction card? Or do we play the improvise? I guess let's go for the improviser right off the bat. See if we can at least get it where Oh my gosh, not helping. Not helping. Short rest, weak attack gone. What else do you get rid of? The search, the focus. We're gonna probably get rid of the search. Oh, I didn't grab cards. I didn't grab cards. I should have had a walk, right? I don't remember. I just did myself a huge... I feel like I should have a walk card in my hand, but I didn't pick it up, and now I'm confused. So that's not good. Not good at all. 
Improvise. Man, I feel like we just... I seriously think I should have a walk card. That's not good. Um, I guess we'll find out in the playthrough if I just uh, maybe uh, screwed myself out of a out of a one spot walk over the escape pod. Two or maybe even two. I don't know. All right. Well, we did the improvise. We got two. Guess let's just get rid of the close call and the rest. And it'll be good for one turn. Which we need, because we're going to play a distraction card. Well, that didn't help us too much. Playing a focus card. Trying to get, I'm trying to get stuff back. One, and you know what? I'm burying them both. So that's going to give us a two time. And back into there. Okay, now... Before I do anything, let's pick these up. These are now mine. We have nine to spend. We need, we need to be playing. We need to be planning for the end game already. I'm telling you right now. So let's grab an improvise. Let's grab a retaliate. We got two left. We might just need a scan for a trash card. Could take a guard. But I kind of think we need the close call. Just gonna leave us with one. We shall see. Mm. All right. Moving up to four. One, two, three. Going for this guy. One, two, three. Well, he's gone. We will discard another terror card. Nothing adjacent, so he doesn't attack. Oh, man. What do we got? Terror. It's a gas leak. We have a gas leak. Okay. Well... Uh, roll a dice to determine which maintenance shafts leak toxic gas. Oh, that would be good. I'm not next to any maintenance shafts at the moment, so I would be okay. All right, so we're rolling a dice to determine. That is a three, so that is upper left. It's right here. Everyone in a space adjacent to an affected maintenance shaft receives. It's not. I mean, I wish it was that one. That would have helped. One damage, then we're gonna draw an event. I just realized something. I have not used that at all. We need to, uh, the furnace. I'm looking at that furnace right now. Furnace, incinerator, whenever an enemy or victim enters this. We need to get that furnace going. Cramps, if there are one or more victims in a uh, airlock space, you cannot save victims in that space. Oh my gosh, that would be horrible. I'm glad we only have one guy left, and I'm glad that was all we're doing. Gas leak. Okay. I'm telling you, the Conrad is treacherous. It's a very treacherous location. All right, what are we doing? We need to walk. We need to improvise. We need to walk. Let's do it. It's got to be a big turn. I need to put this back. Let's put this improvise back. Okay. Let's improvise. We got three dice, though. We do. I don't like that. We are going to play this guy. We're going to have to. We need a lot to do. Close call. Using them all. Using them all again. That is not good. Scan's gone. Walk's gone. I mean, one walk is gone. I agree. Scan and one walk's gone. We need to get him someplace where we can do damage to him, maybe with the ship, too. I know the flamethrower is going to be great. I know we have a retaliate. But if we can get, like, the Conrad to just do a little bit of damage to him. I cannot believe that. That is horrible. We need this next roll to be good. And I don't even know why I did it. What happens if we just don't use it? <laughs> Horror and, okay. Well, we definitely don't want that to happen at this point. Let's get rid of the scan. Let's get rid of 
a single walk. I don't know if a single walk is really going to help me right now. I don't really have a direction I'm going. So the next thing should be okay. We are going to walk. All successes. Really? Ah, we can walk once and use a time. There we go. Skate pod. Take a search card. Doesn't really help me out right now. We may sell it. We may sell it. But we can flip Jeanette over. I mean, if that was winning the game right now, that would be awesome. Okay, you are considered to have an additional hand for the purposes of holding and using items. Place two tracking markers on this card. When using an item with limited uses, you may use... Oh my gosh. Okay, well we need to just guard and uh, hit this dude with a flamethrower every time. This won't hit me, right? I'm just I'm looking here real quick. Making sure we understand this. All damage must be distributed evenly between victims and enemies. And in that order. So it won't hurt us. So we can be in the same space. That's what I'm thinking. We just uh We just chill. He's gonna come at me. Let's play a focus. If we can get a focus, we'll burn a search card. One focus. Not right, great. Let's burn the. F <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a, uh, this is rough. How many times can we use an item on our on our turn? That is something I don't I don't use a lot of these trackers, so I may have to look that up real quick because I'm not really sure how many times we can use an item on our turn because I just use it all four times on one turn and then. We would be uh, we'd be good. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of the search card though. What are we about to get? Short rest, focus, weak attack. I don't think it really helps me right now. I definitely want to grab a guard. I have a retaliate. We are maxed out on the horror track, so we are okay. We do have a weak attack. I just I gotta look this up real quick. I do have to look this up real quick. So quick pause. I'm gonna look this up. All right, well, I just looked up the rules on this, and honestly, it actually says you can use it as many times as you want, just as many times as you have tokens for, which is crazy because we have two tracking tokens and we have, can use those. So I'm telling you right now, if we can survive this turn, I think we just won the game, but let me know if I'm reading that wrong because this seems like, I mean, no, you're wrong. I was invested in this flamethrower off the very beginning, and this just tend to work, tended to work out for that to happen. So I'm looking. We got, these are not my cards. Oh, my cards. I set my cards down right here. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Focus, walk, scan, walk, close call, improvise. This, uh, we'll see what happens. I think we may manage to take him out with the flamethrower. Okay. So it's going to be his turn. It's going to be his turn. He is going to move up to four spots. It's moving to me. One, two, three. And then he's going to attack. So we're going to start out with, obviously, Retaliate. That's what we're playing right now. Retaliate. Oh, my gosh. My Retaliation roll. Okay. So not only are we not taking damage, but we are going to do two back to him. So we can just go ahead and take these off. Get rid of this Slippery. He's no longer Slippery. No longer Slippery. Okay. We're, we're fighting in the escape pod. That's that's very thematic. Okay. So now what is he going to do? Draw a tarot card. All victims adjacent to the trash compactor panic. Everyone at the trash compactor receives damage. And then he is going to attack us again. And we're going to try to play guard. We have anything to... We have stuff to modify. But honestly, I think we're good. If we can survive this... Do we take it all? I'm just looking here. It's going to be four. One, two, three, four. It doesn't get us down. We could take it, but otherwise it's a, kind of a waste. We could play two cards. I don't even think we need to do much is what I'm thinking. Get rid of the search and the short rest. We can at least block two of them. We'll only take two damage. Then at least I think if he hits us again, no, we won't survive. We just get rid of them all. 
I'm looking. We just get rid of them all, and then we use the flamethrower, right? I think that'll do it. Place two tracking markers when using them. You can use one of these markers instead. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're just going to... I'm going to use them all. Turn these two successes. Let me know. I'm, I'm serious. Like, what you guys think about this whole <laughs> setup right now. Um, I need to reset this. But anyways, so I'm going to block it all. Hit the guard. I have no cards in hand, right? We're right here. I can just go like this, right? Victims and enemies. Okay. So flamethrower. Oh, and you in that order. Here we go. So victims, enemies, and you. Evenly. Hold on here. Hold on. Hold on. Let's. We we have any way to move? No, we do not have any way to move. By the way, I can't move out of here. Evenly distributed. In that order. Evenly distributed between victims. So there are no victims. They got an FAQ on this. I'm looking. Flamethrower. You guys let me know how you're reading this. Generally, I'm not in the same room. So evenly distributed between... So does that mean he's going to take two for every one I do? So if it was two, 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 two... And I would take one, 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 one. That wouldn't be good. I don't know if that's how I would play it. Evenly distributed in that order. Or does that mean it goes to all the victims evenly? So like if there's victims in there, I have to I have to put all I have to put a damage on three victims first. I'm unsure. I'm going to look this up real quick. Alright, so I think I got this figured out. I think it's saying that all the damage we put is going to be distributed. Like, if I play a... So, first of all, I don't have a weak attack. So, I don't even think I can use this item yet. I think I... You think you have to have the card still to use it. So, um... I can't remember. I feel like there's one that you don't use a card with, and that's what kind of threw me off on another one. But I'm pretty sure I still need to play it, which means I need to undo um, the guard that I did. So the guard would have just reduced it by two or ignored all. So I'm going to take two damage. I'll take two damage. Um, so I don't play all of those cards. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to grab that weak attack out. And then I think I am going to grab... I can't move. That's the biggest problem I'm having right now. Poorly planly set this up. Did not understand the flamethrower. Um, but yeah, those are both gone. Yeah, I know I hit him back. I hit him back for two. Ooh. I don't think that helps me, though. I was thinking about when I retaliated, I probably could use the flamethrower. Hit him back with the flamethrower. I would have done like five. So been three off of here. But I think I would have had to have taken all damage. So I would have taken it because I was in the escape pod. So I think I'm probably in trouble right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the weak attack. I'm going to keep the short rest. I think it's the only way we got any chance. So we will play the short rest right off the bat. Which is good. We can get two back, which we needed because I think we're, we're going to have to be able to survive this. Um, so we need to grab a guard for two. We're going to get some walks back, so I think we're okay. I'm just trying to think. Um, so if we guard, I don't know what's going to happen on the next one. I know I'm going to probably take some damage. So we have four to spend. Furious Strike's probably not going to help me unless I play them both on the next turn. I'm going to get a Focus back. I am going to get a Focus back, so I could get some time back. Um, we could try that. We'll see what happens. 
He's probably going to hit me for at least four. I need a guard. I need a furious strike. I don't think I do. I think I'm going to grab close call for one. And then just get a ton of uh, time back and see if I can move. I don't know. I've obviously never been in this situation before. So we'll do that. That'll be my entire turn. We can pick these guys back up. We'll get two walks. See what I can do. A short rest is back. Focus. Put the search. Put the guard back. Put the retaliate back. So we have that for the next turn. And I guess let's see what happens. Yeah, I totally forgot that I needed to use a card when I used the flamethrower. So we are going to be able to hit him. Maybe hopefully survive a couple turns. Uh, maybe... Like I said, if I have to take damage, I don't know if I can take damage. So we'll see what happens. Okay, but anyways, he's going to go. He's basically going to attack me right now. I guess let's take... Let's take the... I mean, let's take the guard. Let's put the guard into play. <laughs> reduce it by two. Well, if we reduce it by two, he's still going to... I mean, that's all my only choice unless I... Play the close call now. If he attacks me again, I'm... I am uh, probably dead, so I'm trying to think. Uh, try to stay. I guess we'll try to stay alive as long as possible. We'll reroll one of these. Two. What can we get rid of? Nothing really, to be honest. Can't really get rid of anything. I need a walk. Get, I guess let's get rid of a walk and a focus. Turn this here. Uh, block all of it, so that's good. No damage, uh, and then we'll do the terror card. Oh my gosh, Shadow Dread. Whenever you draw an ambush card with two or less danger, discard and draw another one. Well, he's hopefully not going to ambush again, ambush us again. But he did get more health, so that's not good. And I'm thinking, I'm trying to figure out what the best thing to do. We're at six. We got six right now. We walk, we weak attack, and then we. Smash him. Thinking that's the play. Alright. We're going to walk. We just need to move one space. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Got to do it, man. All right, that's a horrible roll. We'll take the damage because I wasn't going to even out anyways. Take the damage. Move up to one space. He can't get me anymore, right? No, he can. We need to move into the bridge. Um... Two time. This has just been bad rolls. Uh, let's play the the weak attack, I guess. I just... Well, we'll hit him for one. I'm going to take some damage. But we do get to use this. So it will be four. We will do this. Four, four. One, two. This is back off. Three, four. I'm telling you, this is just not going very good for me. That's okay. I was bound to just to get clobbered, and this is just being slow and painful at this point. All right, we're going to play the distraction because we need to get some time. Hopefully, whew, good roll. Okay, so we're going to get four time. One, two, three, four. We're going to get a focus and a short rest back. That's fine. We're going to grab a guard and a retaliate. Just six. Down to two. He is going to come in there. Hmm. Okay, I'm just trying to plan this out. Um, the best part is if we move into the bridge on the next turn, he won't be able to get to us. I just realized, though, that damage put us in jeopardy. So I think we're going to have to play. I have to grab a close call. We don't have anything to sell. If we can survive the turn with the guard and the retaliate, if. Or do we wait on the retaliate? Grab. We only have another guard, so. Just thinking. We need the retaliate. We need the guard. Do we grab a close call and a scan? Or do I grab the sprint? That's, that's my issue right now. We got to be able to move on that next turn. He's going to come in after us. All right, we're rolling the dice, literally. <laughs> literally. So, we 
we'll see what we can do. All right, so let's put these back. Distraction, a weak attack, a walk, a walk, a focus, a close call, and a guard. And he is going to move up on us. Moving up on us. Hitting us for four, which will, well, kill us. So let's play the retaliate. We got one. We got one. That's fine. Okay, so we're just going to hit him for one. Not ideal. Reduce the damage by two. He's hitting us for four. I wish that would have, like, evened out perfectly. But then again, I could always sprint and twist my ankle. And that would be bad. All right, so what's he going to do next? Terror deck. This is the last one, by the way. Acid spray. The evil one marks as a hatchling discard and draw otherwise. Um, so he's going to attack us. The more damage you discard a random item. If you have no items, take two damage. This is pretty much it. So... I'm hoping we can guard ourselves because he's about to acid spray us in the storage room. Um, and we have. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. So here's the problem I would discard two to turn that into one success. I would reduce the damage by two, which basically means it's going to go down to our last health token right now. So we're going to grab a focus. I'm just looking. I say we grab the focus. The rest and the focus. So we, we turn this into one success. Let me reset this. Um, one success, which is enough to prevent two of his damage. But if the evil lock damage you, discard a random item. Oh, we'll get rid of the key card, right? I am guessing, right? Can we get rid of the key card? I'm thinking we can get rid of the key card. It is an item doesn't have a token on it but I don't think that's gonna matter anyway so the bad thing is is he's gonna hit us and then oh my gosh we got lucky we got lucky so he's gonna hit us um so that's pretty much that and then he's gonna go in the shadows so that's really bad back into the shadows it will not matter though because there are no more of these he's he is an adult ambusher now and if he attacks us he's will flip that over on the next turn might as well flip it over. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of the order that this would happen. He's gonna go in the shadows. He so he hasn't drawn the next one yet. Okay. We have one sprint card, but we have four dice now. That is that. Get all these on our turn. That was really not good. I don't even think, I think I'm just going to load up with guard cards and stuff, but we'll see what happens. What's the scan do? Let's play some. We can get that scan. We can put them where we want them. All right, so sprint. Move up to two spaces. I don't really think uh, that's really going to help us right now, to be honest. But we're going to do it anyways. I already rolled. Where would we like to go? Let's get in the escape pod and just leave. Uh, I don't have any tokens, so that's the other problem. Is right now this would be a really good point to just go put the self destruct in. I forgot that it was down one. I forgot we probably could have got three. You know, we had two cards. Probably self destruct was probably the best way to go in this situation so far. But we uh, we didn't do that. I'm gonna go to. I'm trying to figure out where the best place for me to go. I don't, even know if, I don't even know if we should have moved at this point. I think we should have stayed in there, maybe got some surge cards. We're about to get some focus, some walks, some walks, some weak attacks. Who knows how long he's going to be in the shadows. That was a bad, that's a bad mistake. I don't even think I want to, like I said, I don't even think I want to move, but I got the movement now. Let's just do this, I guess. One, two, we're going to the mess hall. We can do that. Um, we'll grab these cards. We have, that would have cost us one movement. We're five. We're going to need a guard. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're going to need a guard. Uh, we're going to need search. And we are going to need... Probably to start grabbing some scans. Let's grab a scan so we can at least maybe stop him from spawning on us. Alright. Not going the way I wanted it to. At all. I mean, 
I, it was it was looking so good until I realized I, I didn't know what I was doing with the flamethrower. All right, but it's his turn. We're going to draw an ambush card. Ambush card. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next ambush card. Ambush card. Place the evil in the closest place to you without a X. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're dead. Okay, so it's going to be the closest space to you without an X. I assume that's your space, right? So he's coming back out. Yeah, that's good. Just pull me out of my misery at this point. If the finale card has been revealed, which, I, I mean, it probably has. Can't draw. So if not, immediately draw the next tarot card. That's fine. So he is basically going to just, he's going to take us out. He's going to hit us, double attack. I don't think there's anything we can even do about it. There's nothing we can do about it. I mean, we'll just go through the motions. Um, guard. <laughs> we can we can do this. Oh my gosh, threes and fours have been the story so far of this. Um, so yeah, he's gonna attack us, and then he's going to attack us again. I can do absolutely nothing about it. He is going to beat us. He is going to take us out. That aspect raid, that acid spray was brutal. He's gonna take us out, and yeah, that is that is how we are gonna start series two of Final Girl. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching my playthrough of Into the Void from uh, Final Girl Series 2. I hope you enjoyed it. I I, uh, I want a rematch on this one. I'm going to tell you right now. I want a rematch on the Evo Morph. But obviously, there's a lot more locations we can go to. I am just, I'm very upset. I thought, you know, I thought we were going to do okay with the Flamethrower. I thought I was kind of set up and then realized I didn't have the cards I want. Like I said, I thought I might have not picked up a walk card when I needed to earlier on in the game. My mistake bad bad uh some bad play there but let me know what you think about this so far uh have you played any of C uh series two anything you particularly uh like more than uh series one let me know in the comments uh otherwise uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel do so we'll have some more final girl coming out probably try to get a playthrough up at least every couple weeks i do have more content coming so there'll be a second unboxing another reason to subscribe but if you like this playthrough give it a like and uh I will see you guys on the next one. Much love.